there, journaling goddesses. <laughs> Welcome to you and me and a cup of tea. And actually today I finished my cup of tea before I got to my park. It is such a beautiful spring day outside that I wanted to come outside and spend some time with you. <laughs> so let's check in with our body as we do here at Goddess Tea House TV. Hmm, so just put your hand on your heart and notice how you doing, body. Just notice. And you might even want to check in on all realms. How are you doing physically? How are you doing mentally, emotionally? Are you feeling restless? Is there restless energy? How's your energy level? How's your spirit doing today? And right now we're just noticing without trying to change anything or make it any different than it is. And we want to give ourselves permission to pack up whatever is swirling and twirling inside and put it outside of our space to be unpacked later or being let go. Not, mm -hmm, not packed, not unpacked. How you doing? Good Friday. Yay! So today I wanted to share this book of poetry that I got and it is absolutely rocking my world. Like the it's very rare that when I pick up a book of poetry that I end up going through the whole thing and I found myself as I was reading saying mm, mm, mm. And then the second read through, I actually got my journal out and copied down some of the things as prompts. So I really, obviously, highly recommend this book. And let me get back to the cover part here. It is called Neon Soul, a collection of poetry and prose by Alexandra L. And you can, um, I don't know if you can see, you probably can't. Let me back it up. There we go. <laughs> That's as good as I'm going to get because the sun is shifting. But I wanted to share a couple of pieces of her poetry because I felt like they were such juicy little snippets. And they're no, none of them are really long, but so many of them were, that were such juicy little snippets that I bookmarked to come back to into my journal and just to kind of move through. And... At the end of her book, she actually gives you some kind of poetry prompts so that you can write your own little two or three phrase poetry. But I wanted to share a couple pieces of things with you. First of all, I read her introduction and I loved um, what she had to say. And I'll just read the end here because she talks about how she felt like she was maybe she was losing her her poetic voice because um, she wasn't in a period of struggle necessarily and you know a lot of times I've I've seen I've heard that time and again from other creatives how um, it seems like some of their most creative periods and you can see like in music and things that some of their most creative periods were when when they were dealing with struggle so it was interesting to have her address that right from the beginning and she talks about a couple of things in here that I wanted to point out and so she said um, the one thing that I found myself bookmarking to come back to is she said some scars were linger perhaps even a few memories and remnants of self doubt self doubt will live dormant on a cot in the back of my mind but I decided that trauma will not be my resting place Pain and suffering will not make a home out of me. They will not have windows or doors to my soul, and they will no long they are no longer allowed to nestle in my space for comfort and refuge. I am not a vessel for parasitic emotions or past times. I love that. Can you just imagine that like dumping all of this gunk out when she talks about not being a vessel for parasitic emotions or past times. I just had this immediate image of dumping, opening myself up and dumping out the garbage that I've kind of carried around from 
all of the fear that I that I used to allow to dominate my thinking and just really just giving my insides a good scrub. So I loved that she addressed that. I am not a vessel for parasitic emotions or pastimes. And then she goes on a little bit more, but I love what she ends with. She said that I hope whoever is reading this wants a view, a different view and perspective, a different angle on life after the bad and all right morph into fulfilling self-celebration because preparing for joy is just as important as healing from hurt. Preparing for joy is just as important for me healing from hurt. That's like permission, right? That's permission to be able to celebrate the small victories that you have. So I loved, loved, loved that. Like I stopped and immediately put that in my journal. Preparing for joy is just as important as healing from hurt hurt so that I can always remember that it's totally okay. I have permission to celebrate that joy. So there's so, like I said, so, so many things in here that I would love to share. Like I would love to just read this entire thing to you, but there are a couple of things that I want to point out because they really spoke to my heart and as I tuned into them I really felt like I wanted to share them with you so that wherever you are today wherever you find yourself in this journey of life it, it, as you're watching this as you're hearing my voice as you're you're tuning in and connecting with yourself I just want you wanted you to know a few of these things so here's one poem that she calls impossible how are you not enough that is never so. That can never be. Ugh. How are you not enough? That is never so. That can never be. Beautiful, right? Like, I want to just dive so deeply into her words and just weave them into the tapestry of my own life in a way that allows me to shine brighter to to bring and to bring as many people along on this brightness journey as possible yes we're wounded yes we have healings that we need to accomplish yes we're hurt but fundamentally fundamentally we are all right we're enough and I just love that she talks about that um let me find the other one Give me just a moment here because there, like I said, there was so many, so, so many. All right, so here's another one. And this one is called Uncomfortable. When you are not yourself, who are you trying to be? What disguise do you fold into to fit molds and boxes that do not belong to you? You cannot be happy when you heap when in heaps of yourself can you oh I love 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 these words so much and then like I said at the end of the book let me see if I can get to, to the end she's got poem prompts at the end and she says these prompts are for you to enjoy tap into your inner writer and create your own batch of poems Get creative, have fun, and be bold and honest with your writing. This is your process. Write out your soul. Uh, and then she just gives you like a few words to, to include. She tells you to, she gives you an idea, write a haiku, um, write a poem about childhood. I mean, just so many different things that I found myself going, yep, this is a book that I am just going to, even if I have to put reminders on my calendar to pop up so that that way I can remember to come back to these, I want to come back to this. I loved this book so much. At first I got the Kindle copy, but I have the physical copy on its way to me because I wanted to be able to even use it maybe with a, as a journaling party at a journaling party with friends take it and have everyone 
pick something that speaks to them at that moment and just do some free writing with it. So again, I highly, highly recommend this book. I cannot tell you how much I love this book. And if you enjoyed this book review, let me know in the comments below. And what books do you have um, for me to rec that you would recommend for me to read. I'm always looking for new things to read, either from independent authors or or anybody. What books have caused you to have to stop and pick up your pen to write because it just triggered things in you? And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with somebody who else who might like it. I appreciate anything that you can do to help other people find me. I will see you next week, Wednesday, for our weekly journal or weekly oracle journaling. Until next time, have a great day. Do something beautiful for yourself because remember, you are enough. Take care and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.